My vacation's almost over. Mrs. C.W. will be coming home. In a few days, I guess I better catch up on my chores. One of which is our five-year-old washing machine. This nice, smooth-running GE that we bought with a smash top. And they sent us three new smash tops. I mean, three tops to replace the smash one. All of a sudden, it started leaking water all over the floor. And... I suppose after she's been gone for 10 days, it's time to look at it. So I cranked her up. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out how to take it apart. It's got a hidden clip. Just like the machines at the apartment building right there. Just put a knife in and release the hidden clip. Front comes off, top lifts off, a bunch of screws that hold on the control panel. So I cranked her up and I thought maybe it was leaking from the water inlets because it was leaking pretty bad. It's quite a puddle on the floor. But nope, plus the load size came off a long time ago and I finally took it apart and saw what it was. It's just clipped on instead of having two screws, it uses a clip, it rotates and snaps into place. So that was really easy to fix. We've been using full loads, washing small loads with a full tub of water. That's a waste. Anyhow, so I cranked her up and I filled it quarter way, halfway, three quarters. I finally filled it right to the top. If I can get this thing to work. So I thought maybe the tub was cracked in the back, or maybe a hose clamp popped off, or you never really know till you open these things up and look inside. Whoop, there we go. So anyhow, it's leaking from the main rotating shaft seal. And it seems how it's been leaking for a long time. And the inside is all rusted. I think I'm going to sell it as a basement washing machine. Yep, getting water into the transmission. I'm going to sell it as a basement washing machine. Don't mind if it leaks on the floor. It works fine. We don't use it that much. Once a week or so. What a PIA, huh? Five-year-old machine. The machine we had before was probably 15, 16, 17-year-old Whirlpools. And they were working perfectly. I changed the transmission coupler, like the rag joint on a rear-wheel drive steering shaft. I changed the coupler on it after five, six, seven, ten years for 20 bucks. Pretty simple job. And the only reason we sold the machines is because they were starting to get rusty on the edges. I figured, well, we've gotten 15 plus years out of a couple machines. Time to get rid of them and buy some new ones. So they had these at Lowe's. There, there's the water. They had these at Lowe's in the scratch and dent department. They were probably half price because the top was smashed. Yep, rip. Yeah, so I gotta bring the laundry to the apartment building or the lake house has got a washer dryer. And then I have to stay there. At least the apartment building, I can keep repairing my floor. What a PIA, huh? Oh, drain and spin. And then something else I noticed. It's rubbing on the bottom of the housing. Look at that. Is there supposed to be a rod that goes through here? That goes through the motor housing? And hold it up off the deck? Because it's banging on the deck. It's not supposed to be doing that. There's supposed to be a rod that goes through there, I think. Where'd the rod go? Don't ask me. First time the machine's been opened. Yeah, she's a leaker. Funny how it runs slowly and all of a sudden the computer tells it to start draining. All this crappy electronics. Made in China. How do you like that? The motor is made in China. Electronically protected. Use in clothes washer only. Exposed terminals, PC board, and rotating parts may cause injury and or electrical shock to reduce the risk of electrical shock. Disconnect power and allow at least five minutes for capacitors to discharge the caps. Yep. They're driving cars now with monster capacitors. Yep, yep, yep. So any minute it's going to start to drain, and I thought maybe one of these hoses 
had a busted clamp or split. Nope, the main drive seal. I'm not taking this thing apart and dump all the parts. I'm going to put it back together. I need to get it to spin. There she blows. Dump that water down the drain. We pay for water and sewer here, and what a bill we get every month. We use six, seven, eight, ten thousand gallons in this duplex, twelve thousand. Water bill's over a hundred bucks a month, twelve hundred a year. Yep, time to dig a well. Alrighty, I'm gonna go on the internet and tinker around with stuff instead of working, because Mrs. CW ain't here.